welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I am trying the Nagneen Organic Cask Strength. It's uh, the Nagneen, and let's talk a little bit about the background of the distillery. The distillery is not that old. It was founded by Annabelle. Annabelle, yeah, she signed as Annabelle X, and I got to know her as a first name basis, so I don't really know what her last name is, but she was from the financial sector in London, but she has family uh, in on the west coast of Scotland, and they had some old buildings there, and I think they have a farm there, also a bit of lumber business going on there. So um, she thought about, hey, let's build a, yeah, re environmentally responsible distillery there, and she did that, she built the distillery, she renovated the old buildings and uh, I think they got a new roof and uh, yeah, the stonework is still the old one, maybe just a bit of brushing off and stuff. And yeah, so not kind of raising everything and that is the thing what they want to do, they want to be responsible, they want to reuse like energy reusage and they want to be 100% regenerative energy. So she has a wood chip burner for her, um, what do you call it for our energy for our stills and uh, reusing that energy a lot so you don't have to cool as much um, and don't have to use as much cooling water that's a big thing for them and then you have 100% um, barley uh, organic barley and this is why it's called the Nagneen organic yeah um, but I think uh, I'm not quite sure but a lot of them or all of them are organic yeah, it's on the, as I said, on the west coast of Scotland, near the Isle of Mull. So it's very close to the distillery of Tobomori. But yeah, there is the, I think it's probably called the uh, Sound of Mull or something like that, uh, separating the distillery from uh, the, yeah, the island. Yeah, it's uh, not just the organic, but also the cask strength. So we have 59.6% ABV. And that is yeah, a nice, strong whiskey. But 59 is a bit too strong, so I have a bit of water here to water down later. So um, in terms of casks, I think you can, if you know the codes from the distillery, you know that GD06, I think that is also the, the code for what kind of casks they use. Um, but the cask they are used here in this uh, whiskey is uh, STR red wine casks. 55%, bourbon cask 43%, and Oloroso sherry cask is the rest, which uh, is not a lot. I think 2 or 3% or something like that. Um, yeah, so um, STR stands for Shave Toasted Restart. So you're taking off a lot of the inside of the cask. Toasting means um, heating it a lot so the wood caramelizes again. And then we have rechar. We just burn the inside to get a bit of charcoal to have charcoal filtering. So yeah, there might be an influence of red wine, but it's less than a normal red wine cask. Ooh, it's fruity. It's one of these really, really fruity whiskey with fresh fruitiness and a good amount of red fruitiness. So the fresh fruitiness might as well come from the distillery character. I know that they are taking good care about their raw spirit, uh, not doing too much uh, on the lower cut and the upper cut. So yeah, having a bit Smaller heart means having a more quality heart piece in the distilling business. So, um, yeah, a nice fruitiness from the distillery character, plus, uh, yeah, red fruitiness going on there. Also a little bit of oakiness, which is a bit strange because uh, it's not that old. It's an it's a noise statement, yes. And I know for a fact that they don't have 10, 12 year old stuff, so there's no 10, 12 year old stuff in there. It will probably be around five-ish, six-ish, around there. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, cask strength always means uh, there is uh, a lot of intensity in the glass, which I have to reduce down a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. For scotch, it's nice and sweet with a lot of, also, this time I got it berries. It depends on how, how much you water it down. You get a bit more freshness. Um, I do have a bit of freshness now. Get a bit of both now. I think I hit the perfect spot now. 
and um, I had a bit of freshness, a bit of more of an expert character going on. And the first time I did water down a little bit more, I had more of the berries and Oloroso sherry red wine notes in there. So you can play around a little bit. This is a, a nice thing that you have here with the with a cask strength that you can play around with the strength is. Mm. Mm. It's a well-made whiskey. Yes, it's a nice whiskey. It's a no-age statement. But it can ke keep up with the 10-year-old, 12-year-old normal expressions because they take really great care of the distilling. They use the exceptional casks in there. Um, it will have a bit of a price point to it. Um, I don't have the price point in front of me, but uh, it, it ha is a bit more pricey to it because it's a new distillery and uh, they put a lot of effort into it. It's a cask strength whiskeys, all the casks, so it will be more pricey, but it can keep up with the older whiskeys. Yeah. So uh, if you happen to you know, think about buying it and you live in the Netherlands, have a look at whiskey.com and you will find the Nagneen Organic Cask Ring there. Uh, my review was on the uh, CSGD06. I think it has batches. Maybe in the later years, the batches will vary a little bit, but the common theme will remain the same as long as it's a, uh, the same amount of casks in there. Yeah, that was it with my review. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.